This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. You know, that's okay. Makina doesn't need makeup. Then again, nobody needs makeup. Okay, are we going to the beach now? I want to go to the beach. Nowhere in particular. Just thought I'd take a little walk in to latitude 34 south, longitude 58 west or so. Who talks like that? Not even military people talk like that. Robot, robot. How do you know that, Makina? <laughs> Everyone has their whimsical days, right? I'll get you a souvenir. <laughs> I don't think your map teacher talked like that in day-to-day -day life. Probably just in map class. Such hurtful words. It's a weekday afternoon, and here I am, walking out of a room to the jeers of a woman spurned. Seems I may be something of a heartbreaker. I do appreciate that Amine's concerned about my nutrition, but... The thing is, these meals have been getting out of hand lately. Just sitting back and watching the angle coefficient going through the roof is growing increasingly awkward. Guess I'll head to the rooftop. Anyway, today I feel like securing myself a place where I can eat in peace. Ooh, lunch with Sachi, that's what we want. On the roof, even if I eat plain rice balls with a side of baked beans or take a nice siesta, there shouldn't be anyone around in Agni. I, we've seen Yumiko on the roof many times. Or maybe that was the dorm roof. Look, I told you to quit it with that name. <laughs> what? <laughs> this looks like an, a, a character from an Ace Attorney game that Marty and I have yet to play. <laughs> What's with the boxes? I turn around and find myself confronting a cardboard creature. I wonder who it could be... <laughs> <laughs> this is like the, uh, Pooh dressing up in the mailbox for the Valentine's special. Now, Rue, it isn't polite to bother someone when they're pretending to be a mailbox. <laughs> There's something resembling a maid uniform peeking out from below the massive boxes, but tragically, given my far from voluminous, I don't, voluminous vocabulary, I can't think of a more appropriate nomenclature. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't have any cardboard creatures among my acquaintances. <laughs> if you're not a cardboard creature, then what are you? <laughs> Sachi is so quirky and I like it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that a fact. At a glance, you don't seem to be made of plastic. Yeah, um, apparently Sachi is... I can't tell if she's carrying cardboard boxes in front of her, or if she has, like, three cardboard boxes on her head. I'm going for the latter, and if so, she's basically, like, an Ace Attorney character that we'll meet eventually. Oh, thank goodness you said that. I wouldn't be able to tell otherwise. Hmm, now that you mention it, that voice does sound familiar. Aww. <laughs> That said, it's also possible that you're an imposter assuming the role of Sachi. <laughs> there is one imposter among us. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask why you picked them in particular. They're, they're a long way from home. This is Japan. Anyway, in order to confirm that you are neither a spy nor the incarnate avatar of cardboard, I'd like to ask you two or three questions. If you ask you her her measurements again. <laughs> <laughs> Sachi is pink. Sus. <laughs> Excellent. Well then, first question. Did you hear that nickname you just used from someone in particular? Thanks, Amane. Figured as much. <laughs> I love how it still says she's cardboard creature. Let's see, when's your birthday? Oh, that's nice to ask. <laughs> Yuji will remember that. Come to think of it, I didn't know Sachi's birthday in the first place. Oh well. How about your blood type? <laughs> didn't know that either. Okay, how about the color of your underwear today? Oh, gross, dude, why? Why did you reveal that? Where do you keep the underwear in question when it's not in you? Wow, this guy is such a creeper! Oh, this guy is so creepy. Hmm. 
Fascinating as all of this is, upon reflection I haven't asked a single question that I can actually confirm the answer to. But judging from this unflinching aura of honesty, and the way that every response somehow makes the guy asking the rude questions feel awkward, GOOD! YOU SHOULD! There is a little doubt- there is little doubt that this is the genuine article. Very well, I accept you as Sachi. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. With those polite words of thanks, the cardboard creature, or rather Sachi, bows to me. So I assume you're carrying all of these cardboard boxes because someone asked you to. Oh, she's not wearing them. <laughs> this game is so weird. I see, and presumably you changed into the maid uniform because you were more comfortable working in it. Either way, carrying this massive pile of boxes around must be quite difficult, even if the contents themselves are light. We're off... <laughs> well, gee, guys, I wonder which one I'm gonna choose. We're going for Sachi route first. We're, we're gonna help Sachi. I'm glad we're getting choices now. Alright, how about I help out as well? What, again with this? I understand that you feel a sense of responsibility, but it's not like anyone's saying that you have to get the job done all by yourself, right? I'll take these. Preempting Sachi's response, I grab a few cardboard boxes from her towering stack and pull them away, revealing the girl behind. Ta-da! It would be funny if it was actually Michiru the whole time. Maybe you're reluctant to bother me, but that's all the more reason to let me help out. In this situation, just watching my classmate totter off blindly would bother me a lot more than carrying a few boxes. I love this happy music. <laughs> of course, if you think I'd just slow you down, I can reconsider. Yeah, that, that's you didn't need to you didn't need to pick up three boxes all at once. Why is she a maid again? Because somebody was like, "Oh man, you should dress in a maid outfit." Ha <laughs> ha, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and then she did, and nobody wants to tell her off otherwise. I would tell her off if she was wearing a slutty nerd, or a slutty nerd, a slutty maid uniform, but she's not, so maybe it is, but I think she could have put that in a slightly less weird way. In other words, you don't have any further objections. I don't know why she, I think she's literally just made, wearing the maid uniform because someone told her she should. Yeah. Can I just pile the boxes up around here? After obtaining Sachi's confirmation, I stacked the cardboard boxes next to the teacher's podium. By the time we've finished, Sachi has already opened a few of the boxes she was carrying, and is beginning to unpack the books and worksheets contained within. Wait, did they ask you to put all of this away as well? <laughs> <laughs> Marty, I totally forgot about that part of Oklahoma. I, I don't remember any of Oklahoma, even though I worked on that show as, like, stage crew. I don't remember any of that, but then you just awakened that... Ugh, thank you. <laughs> it seems she's deliberately going above and beyond the call of duty in order to make life easier for our instructors. You really are considerate about stuff like this. the heart. I think that's the last of it. After we finally complete our work, Sachi straightens her posture and lowers her head to me, head to me in a polite bow. Not a big deal, but it seems we've only got another ten minutes until the end of lunch period. <sighs> Missing one meal isn't a problem for me. I was thinking about you, Sachi. Can't you get for the afternoon on an empty stomach? Or can you get for an afternoon on an empty stomach? <laughs> Sachi's just going to be eating a whole pizza during class, and everyone's going to be jealous. That's all well and good, but what she plans to eat is something of a mystery to me. She isn't carrying anything like a lunchbox. She was carrying an entire crate of oranges. Come to think of it, it's been a while now since I entered this school, but I don't think I've ever seen Sachi spread out her lunch at her desk. Incidentally, Sachi, do you bring your own lunchbox to school? <laughs> yep, that's Oklahoma. 
No, it's just that I don't think I've ever seen you eating in the classroom or anything. Really? If I remember correctly, you're always spending the lunch period reading or something, or writing in your notebook. <laughs> she was reading a book and then just stuffing her face with pizza behind it. <laughs> oh my god! I was not expecting that, and that was glorious. What? Yeah, yeah, uh, Yuji does indeed have a runaway imagination. If the day ever comes that such a thought crosses my mind, I think that'll be the day I go bungee jumping off of the roof of a tall building without a cord. What are you eating today, then? <laughs> Bread and jam and milk. <laughs> With those words, Sachi slowly reaches her hand inside her uniform at the bust. Hold it, Sachi! What do you think you're doing with that hand? The hell kind of a lunch fits between your breasts! What is with VN Creator's obsession with breasts? This is weird. What the hell? Does that woman intend to remake Sachi in her own image? Is this school going to end up as a facility for the mass production of Amine clones? If that happens, I will be putting a stop to it. Right now! <laughs> well, whatever. I'll close my eyes. If you're really taking something out of there, I'll get it over with. As Sachi nods, I close my eyes. When I open them again, Sachi's holding a rectangular biscuit of some sort in her hand. Some kind of off-the-shelf portable rations? This is your work? Uh... Ugh. Well, I guess so. At a glance, there doesn't seem to be much more than a baked lump of wheat flour and butter. I see. These are certainly compact enough that a lunchbox isn't necessary. That's your whole lunch? One biscuit? That would explain why I don't have any recollection of her spreading out a lunch on her desk, but... If you're eating this stuff every day, isn't your diet going to be pretty poorly balanced? What do you do for vitamins? Right on cue, she produces a number of brightly colored shortbread biscuits for my inspection. I feel as though I'm watching a baking segment on some particularly deranged cooking show. British Bake Off, this is not. I'm a little curious about what you've got in that one named after a poisonous snake. But first of all, are these fins tasty? Sachi! I come perilously close to asking her whether she's ever actually eaten an RCIR, but I managed to restrain myself at the last moment. An ounce of self-control from Yuji. Do you have enough to share? I'm sure the housewives of the world will be overjoyed to hear of your discovery. I'm gonna go with Mr. Crispy. <laughs> what an excruciatingly difficult choice. This is so weird. <laughs> is it sad that I know exactly what Arthur episode that is from, Marty? Probably. Two of us sit on the teacher's platform in the otherwise empty classroom, biting into our homemade shortbread. There isn't anything logically wrong with our actions under the circumstances, but for some reason this feels less like a school lunch and more like a chow break in the middle of a long march to the battlefield. Why? Why is she? Why is she so serious? The episode is Arthur, world's greatest gleeper. As I'm pondering these matters, Sachi continues to silently and steadily carry her food to her mouth. Maybe it's because I'm eating with Amine and Makina a lot lately, but something about this situation feels oddly unsatisfactory. Yeah, I, I'm such a nerd. 
So, uh, enjoying that. Yeah, I'm impressed. Put these on a shelf and I think they could pass for something from a bakery. Really? I thought her baked goods were going to be terrible. Judging by the way they described what they were made of. Hmm? When I glance over, I notice that Sachi's currently chewing on a biscuit specked with pebbly black bits. What flavor is that one? Gesundheit. Sesame, eh? Looks pretty decent. With those words, she casually sticks her face into my direction, the half-eaten shortbread biscuit dangling out of her mouth. Okay, well, if some woman sitting on a park bench next to me suddenly pulled this sort of stunt, I would probably interpret it as indicative of a severe chemical imbalance. But we're talking about Sachi here. I doubt she's even aware of how weird this might seem. Most likely, she simply doesn't have any more of the sesame biscuits to share. Are you seriously telling me to take a bite like this? My younger classmate, offering me a half-eaten biscuit directly from her mouth, softly mumbles, Don't you want some? Usually this would be a pretty saturating sweet situation, but when she's completely nonchalant about the whole thing, the mood is pretty much non-existent. Fine. Close your eyes, at least. This will be awkward otherwise. I feel like it would be more awkward otherwise. No, he is not. Or maybe you're just bizarrely indifferent. Ever think of that? As I'm offering my attempt at a retort, Sachi gently closes her eyes. Alright, I hope when we actually get on the Sachi route, the romantic moments between us and her are not this weird. Otherwise, that's going to be very awkward. I take a bite off of the biscuit, carefully leaving a decent buffer zone. The familiar nutty flavor of sesame instantly spreads across my tongue. Opening her eyes, Sachi asks for my thoughts in a tone of keen curiosity. Yeah, not bad at all. The simple, familiar taste of the biscuit. For one thing, the close-up view of Sachi with her eyes closed for another. I don't think I can complain on either count. Those are my honest thoughts. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I've known Sachi for a while now, and I didn't even know about her unusual lunch habits, let alone her birthday. It seems my knowledge of my classmates is even shallower than I realized. Hmm? When I look to my side, Sachi's watching me with an anxious expression on her face. No, I think I would classify your shortbread as tasty. As portable food goes, I've eaten plenty of truly vile field rations. It would be rude to even compare real military food to this mild, pleasant stuff. Well, that's okay, Yuji just has a case of rusty bitch face. <sighs> I should be used to it by now, but Sachi's pre perceptiveness still takes me by surprise at times. <laughs> I was worried about my laundry, and that's why I was scowling. No, domestic chores aren't involved. Well, to make it short, I was thinking that I'd like to become better friends with you, Sachi. Maybe stop asking her about her, her underwear, then. No, that is not what I said. What? There are too many euphemisms for sex. Way too many. I should be used to it by now. But Sachi's talent for seriously warped misinterpretations of my words still takes me by surprise at times. Don't act like you're innocent, Yuji. You are such a creep. Yes, yeah, sometimes there can be a nuance like that, but that's not what I meant just now. I don't know what's wrong with these girls. I really don't. Look, we're classmates, right? I just thought it might be nice to learn a little bit more about you eventually. That's all. Yes. Yeah. That a fact? There's a natural smile on Sachi's face as she speaks. If one of my classmates can speak those words to me with an expression like that, maybe I've begun to find a place for myself in this school. When I glance back at Sachi, she's already returned to her attention uh, to her meal. She's our class representative and the quiet peacemaker of our group, but above all else, she's something of an unpredictable girl. I'm aware that I don't understand her very well. Even so, I fully meant what I said to her just now. 
Everyone at this school may be a special case, but surely a little mutual understanding isn't too much to hope for. Anyway, thanks for the meal. Unfortunately, even as I mumbled these words to myself, Amine's unwieldy, unwieldy mass of lunch lay in ambush awaiting my return. <laughs>